Good morning, guys. Oh, we're taking Buttercup, or I'm taking Buttercup, to the vet. She's got to get a couple, uh, a couple uh, maybe shots and a little checkup, physical. Uh, she hasn't been this year yet. She goes every year, and uh, she's gonna get a little checkup here. Buttercup, you wanna say hi to everybody? Buttercup, uh, nope. To well, I guess she's not very good on camera. <laughs> well, kiss her. <laughs> All right, we're here. Gonna go get you checked out there, Mrs. Magoo. <laughs> All right, here we go. There's some fish in here. See the fish there, Buttercup? All right, let's do a weigh in. See if she'll stay. Maggie's favorite part of the doctor. Oh, oh distracted enough. 21.6 pounds. All right. Wow, 21.6. You're going on a diet. <laughs> let's go. Let's go, chubby monkey. <laughs> 21.6. You're 35% overweight. <laughs> we'll come right in here. <laughs> All right, yeah, let's get her up on the table. All right, big girl. All right, big girl. How's she doing? There we go. She's doing great. So we're just uh, updating vaccines today? Yeah. This is Stay there, big girl. So it looks like we have her due for her leptospirosis and um, her Bordetella. Is yep. she going grooming, boarding, dog parks? Yep. Okay, well, so she's just going to be going boarding. This okay, weekend. so we'll definitely keep her updated on that. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Has she been on heart room preventatives every month? Yep. Okay. We could probably get it updated through maybe six months of that. Yeah, we can get some before you leave. We could do that. All right, I'm going to have you hold her for me while I get her temperature. Sure. All right. <laughs> this is going to be awkward for both of us. Okay. All right, Buttercup. Here, we're doing a little... <laughs> Don't look at me. Just chill. Good there we go. I don't know what's going on back there either. <laughs> Good. You all right? It's all right. It's a doctor. It's allowed. All right. Doing good. Neither of us want to look. There okay. we go. Temperature yeah. normal. Good. Good. All right. I'll let doctor know you're here. All right. She came all the way over here. And it started tipping up. Here, let's come over here. Now she's afraid. Don't have them take me to my temperature again. I didn't know they were gonna do that, I'll be honest. I did not know that was gonna happen. Your sisters don't know, but we're going to Disneyland for a week. So we gotta make sure that you're up to date and ahead of time on all your little shots and everything. And you get to go to a little doggy hotel for a week. You're gonna love it. Pretty simple little room. Thing to put shots in. A little sink and some ointments. That's really about it. A little thing for x-rays there. Bench. You're doing great. Doctor will be in a few minutes. Be patient, Okay. Um, we're, I'm just gonna talk to you a little bit to start yeah. out and make sure everything sounds like it's going okay and then sure. have a, a look and go from there. Um, how, how have we been doing? Good. She's been great. Nothing, no problems. Good. She lost her buddy a couple months ago, but she's good. Wagon tail, she's eating well. Really no issues there. Good. That was kind of, we kept an eye on her, but she's, she's been great. Good. She's been great. He was, uh, so she's about eight mm -hmm. and he was about older. Okay. So, but yeah, it was real sudden with him, but she's, she's doing well. Good. I think she's a little untrusting after that thermometer. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's okay. So, no vomiting, diarrhea episodes, nothing like that? Nothing. I've never, I don't even really see her eat grass and throw up. Good. That's very, very rare. Good. And probably with her older buddy, um, she would eat some of his food sometimes. So that's why she's kind of so plump. Gotcha. Oops, they're You're okay. Good, good. And have we been itchy at all this year? Is any of the no, changes? No, actually year? the only thing, she on her back, she had a, oh, that's probably right here, ah, somewhere. She had a little bit of a rub. There it is. Okay. She had a little bit of a scratch. We put a little yeah. antibiotic ointment on there. Looks like it's It seems like it. it was pretty good. But that was the only okay. kind of thing. She probably just tried to climb under a fence or tried to get under yeah. something. Does it look like, um, 
I mean, is that improved from what it was? Oh yeah, actually? it was. Yeah, it was. Yeah, this is this looks this looks healed to me. Yeah, it looks healed to me as well. I just want yeah. to make sure because yeah. some some masses and things can appear that way. So that's why I wanted to make sure if sure. it's improved. Yeah, no, it was scrap. Problems. It was okay. like yeah, it was rough. Okay, perfect. Um, otherwise. No uh, changes in energy level, anything? No, like she's been great. She's happy. She's a good. Look. Maybe her hearing's getting worse. I feel like, or she's ignoring me. It's hard to tell sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have a good look over, and then uh, we'll do the bad stuff last. <laughs> do the shots and things like that. She had a tiny little bit of goop in her eyes before I brought her in. Okay. So I just cleaned that off with a little napkin, like I usually do. <laughs> this guy does not pet like a normal person. <laughs> Just checking all the legs, make sure we don't feel anything abnormal with that. Good girl, you're doing good. <laughs> Just, I don't know why I'm on this table. <laughs> this table's cold. <laughs> Just making sure everything's working. She said it's fine. Stop looking. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> you haven't noticed any new skin masses or anything like that on her? No. I'm not finding any yet, but if we yeah. had something you had picked up, I just want to sure. make sure that... Yeah, my parents had a lab, and that thing got, like, so lumpy. Yeah. It was, like, 14 years old. Yeah. They I definitely was... can. Isn't <laughs> it hurt real quick? Yeah, you're doing great. You're doing great. Is this in your heart? You're okay. Has anybody talked to you about her heart at all before? No. Uh, she does have a, a mild heart murmur, which can develop with age in these guys. It's super, super common for Cavaliers. Okay. Um, just to make you aware of that. Um, and again, it's, it's pretty mild right now. Um, it's a low grade. Grade doesn't always 100% correlate with what it means, like how bad it is if we did an ultrasound of her heart. Sure. Um, so I just want to make you aware of it so that okay. um, it's something that we know about. Um, you know, it's definitely something that we could have a cardiologist look out for you if you wanted to, um, but it, if you know if she's having changes in her ability to handle exercise or anything like that, then I would... Um, take, a look, take a closer look. Yeah, exactly. Get sure. her in somewhere. I mean, have her looked at completely first. But I just have that on your list of things that could be okay. could show up on that, uh, just so that I'm making sure I'm telling you everything. Yeah, perfect. Like that. I appreciate that. Yeah, and again, it may just be a change that's you know age related for her, and it may not ever affect her. But um, for these guys, it is really common. So okay. um, otherwise, I think everything else looks pretty good. Um, those are kind of the two biggest things I would note is that she has a little bit of a heart murmur starting, and um, and then her teeth maybe can have. A little bit of attention from from a dentist. Um, otherwise, you know, I think we're okay to good. today. Is she a little heavy? Um, <laughs> I mean, she, she's kid, kind of a big dogger, though. I mean, for her size. She's... Yeah, she could stand to lose a little bit. She's not as terrible as yeah. she could be. So usually how I monitor uh, dogs' weights are you look at the ribs, and so I can still feel her ribs a little bit, but it takes some pressure, and then the backbone as well. So I can still feel her backbone, but she definitely has some covering on there that we could probably get off and would help oh, yeah. uh, just help her with her... As she's getting older, it helps with her uh, orthopedic issues, you know, with their hips and everything like that. Sure. Uh, she has a little bit of extra cover, but she's definitely not, you know, severely, severely obese. So, right. Um, <laughs> covering her back a little bit, I think, might help her out. Or if she's getting a lot of treats, you can cut some of the treats out. Yeah, no, she just eats twice a day, once in the morning, once at night. Okay. Like, we don't really do treats. Gotcha. Maybe once a week I'll give her a little chicken or something. But yeah. 
Other than that. Yeah, I mean, you could definitely just start trimming back a little bit, especially as they get older, they start to slow down a little. So what you were feeding her a few years ago, maybe a little bit extra for what she needs today. Sure. Um, so that, that would be something to consider um, as she's getting a little bit older. Perfect. Otherwise, um, do you have any other questions, concerns? No. Do you think I'm missing on her? Is she on any flea or bone prevention right now? Uh, yeah, she does the once a month, whatever it is, but... I guess if we could, I think it's all the nurse, if we could get like six month supply or whatever. Okay. I think I only have one or two left. She's like, all right, we're done with that. <laughs> Going back. Time for business time. Okay, you're okay. Okay. Let's go in the meat. Yay! Good girl. And now the one that actually is usually a little more offensive because it goes in our nose. Oh no! <laughs> All right, there we go. No sneezing. Good job. Oh, good girl. <laughs> All right. Nice. Up to date on vaccines. Um, I can put in a script for the heart one today. I just want to make sure. That I talk to you about testing before I do that, um, yeah. so we can still get you some. Because I don't want her to go off of it if she's already on. Sure. And then, um, and then you should be good to go. Do you have any other questions for me? No, man, you're great. Good girl. Um, so that vaccine went in the left, just over the left shoulder. Okay. So if she's a little bit sore there tomorrow, not too surprising, just like when you get your kids vaccinated, sure. they get a little bit sore. Um, and mild lethargy, so maybe a little bit tired for okay. a day. It shouldn't last much more than that. If anything's off longer than that, then we'd want to see her back. But um, Sure. You could. You did a great job. She did. <laughs> she's a sweetie. This way. Oh, uh, oh, oh, check gonna be right over here. Perfect. Short trip. Everybody's saying hi. So that's gonna be about it for today, I think. This is Buttercup's little checkout. Oh, yummy. <laughs> Thank you for that. Little monkey. So she got um, a shot in the shoulder. And she got a little something in her nose there. I do not know how to say the things she got, but she's already, um, now she's up to date on everything. She already always had rabies and one of the other things, and she's had to get uh, updated, updated shots. So she's good to go. She's excited to go to the little dog hotel for uh, about a week because we are going on a special trip as a family, and we can't bring her. So anything else to say? How'd you, how'd you like the shots? Not so bad, huh? You're a tough dog. So you dogs at home that are watching, it's not too bad going to the vet, right? Right, Buttercup? Yeah, not too bad.